A big announcement is coming about Arcade 1-Ups on June 10th, and well, I'm very excited for this. More Nintendo Switch Online accounts have been reported as hacked, and we're going to talk about what's happening and how to protect yourself. The PlayStation 5 reveal event has officially been rescheduled for this week, and finally, are more systems coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service? Some new trademarks have people wondering. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games. So if you are new to this channel, you might not know this, but if you're a long time viewer, you would know one thing, I'm kind of a fanboy for arcade one-up machines. I absolutely find these just fascinating. If you would have told, you know, 10 year old RGT that, hey, you would have a Mortal Kombat and a Street Fighter arcade cabinet in your house when you're an adult, I'd have been like, you're an idiot. What are we smoking? Get off the drugs, man. The, the, the drugs are killing your brain. They're killing your brain. But now we have gotten to a point where arcade one-up is allowing people to essentially build home arcades based on their systems because of the fact that they are a bit cheaper than if you were to buy a brand new arcade cabinet and of course the fact that they're very easy to assemble they're smaller than a standard arcade cabinet but I think that works out for a lot of people a lot of people don't have the dedicated room in order to build a standard arcade so these smaller sized arcade machines are just absolutely fantastic for a lot of people like myself I know that there's a lot of arcade purists out there who just say well just get one off of Craigslist and fix it up you can get one for like a hundred dollars and it's cheaper and blah 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 it's like look they also weigh a bunch of weight too like they're very heavy and you got to move them around and stuff so i love these arcade one-up machines and of course we have some new arcade one-up machines coming very soon the nba jam arcade one-up is coming sometime this or next month so a lot of people are very excited for this but now arcade one-up is teasing that there's something even bigger coming the biggest announcement that they have ever made this wednesday arcade one-up and ign will be teaming up for our biggest announcement to come says Arcade 1UP. Check out Arcade 1UP and IGN newsletters on our website and stay tuned to social media to be the first to hear the announcement. So of course a lot of people are going absolutely goo goo gaga over this, my, myself included, because it's like, okay, you've done some big announcements. Like look, a Mortal Kombat, a Street Fighter, a NBA Jam, these are big announcements. And now you are saying that this announcement is even bigger than those. So I'm trying to think of what this could potentially be. Could this potentially be something with Nintendo and Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong is something that a lot of people would love to have an arcade cabinet for in their house. And of course, working with Nintendo would be a bit strange for Arcade 1UP. It would obviously be a very big deal as Nintendo usually doesn't go to outside sources with this sort of stuff, but could it be a Donkey Kong cabinet? Could they be expanding on the Sega relationship that they have? You gotta remember, Golden Axe is coming to us from Sega, and while I'm not a huge Golden Axe fan or anything like that, I like the partnership with Sega because there's so many awesome Sega arcade games that I would just die to have one of these cabs for, like a Virtua Fighter, a Daytona USA, House of the Dead. Could this be light gun games finally coming to Arcade 1UP? I think the sky is the limit with this announcement and I hope that it does, you know, live up to the hype because I'm very hyped for this. Of course, we will talk about whatever this reveal is tomorrow on the channel because I'm definitely watching this with a keen eagle eye, but let me know in the comment section down below what you are hoping to see from Arcade 1UP. Have you picked up any of these things? I already have five of them. I really don't have much room for any others, but I will continue to buy them and we will just figure it out as we go along because I love these damn things. So a few weeks ago on the channel, we of course talked about the Nintendo Switch Online service being hacked and people's accounts being compromised and basically fraudulent purchases happening because of this. Now around that time, there was about 160,000 accounts that were being reported as hacked. Now since then, it's actually grown to even more. Nintendo of Japan actually put out a new report this morning and they basically talked about what is happening, how many more accounts were hacked in this situation. So they're reporting that 140,000 more accounts were compromised during this basic breach of information. So now we're at about 300,000 total Nintendo Switch Online accounts that have been hacked and basically been compromised. Basically what they're doing is they're changing the passwords on these Nintendo accounts so that the original user can no longer log into this account and now they are doing fraudulent purchases with these accounts. So now we're at about 300,000. Nintendo is monitoring the situation. They said that they are issuing refunds based on a country to country basis. So I'm not quite sure really how 
that works out but it is nice that they are issuing refunds for this situation now what are people actually buying with this nintendo switch online account breach that's where things get really weird for me because the main thing that is happening is people are buying v bucks for fortnite with this account and essentially what they're doing is they're buying these v bucks and then selling them online so basically people are hacking into your account they're making a large v buck related purchase for fortnite and then selling that stuff online to people so that they can buy it on like the dark web or something like that and it's so weird that that's what people are doing with this they're buying fortnite stuff like i would think if you're hacking into a nintendo switch online account like you would buy games with it or something but i guess people are seeing a monetary thing with this they're wanting to hack into these accounts and then sell these v bucks on the dark web in order to get money so a very bizarre situation the main thing that you have to realize is you need to turn on two-step authorization with your nintendo switch online account that way you are pretty much foolproof so that way nobody can hack into your account if you do that so i highly recommend that you do that if you haven't already you might also want to unlink your paypal information as well i actually went ahead and did that just to be on the safe side with this but definitely protect yourself out there you don't want someone getting into your account and then buying a bunch of v bucks so that little timmy can buy them on the dark web and then uh, what the hell do you do with v bucks cosmetic stuff like buy an actual game if you're gonna steal Next up, last week we were supposed to be introduced to the PlayStation 5 and there was supposed to be a big reveal event, but due to real world circumstances, Sony decided to delay this event and there was no additional date given as to when this event was going to happen. So a lot of people were speculating, well, when is this event going to happen? And Sony actually cleared that up yesterday. The new date for this event is Thursday, June 11th. So two days from now, if you're watching this on Tuesday, and it will be happening once again at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So this event will be a pre-taped event. It'll be on YouTube tube at 1080p 30 frames per second and for some reason that made a lot of people concerned they're like well, why is it only 30 frames per second why isn't it 60 frames per second why isn't it 4k and it's like does it really matter like this is a youtube video youtube compresses the hell out of videos when you upload them anyways so if you're looking for like the best graphical fidelity you're not going to really get it on youtube so i kind of understand why they decided to do this i did say because of work at home situations it was just easier i don't think it's any sort of weird conspiracy or anything like that but there are people that are sort of running with that they also did mention that there will be cool audio work in this video so listen with headphones if possible and no i'm not going to listen with headphones i'll just listen on my speakers because i don't want to use headphones with that like i don't really use headphones when i'm playing games unless i'm playing games online but i guess it is interesting that there'll be some little audio things probably some sort of surround sound things that go into it with that now of course a lot of people are wondering well what is going to be at this event and I have two predictions that I expect to see personally. Those two predictions being Horizon Zero Dawn 2 and Resident Evil 8. I honestly feel like Horizon Zero Dawn 2 is going to be a launch game for the PlayStation 5. Obviously, when you look at the exclusives for the PlayStation 4, Horizon Zero Dawn was one of the bigger ones. And of course, it has been out the longest compared to things like Spider-Man or God of War. So I feel like that has a really good chance of being one of the PlayStation 5, you know, exclusive games at launch or during the launch frame of the system. System. so I think that's a safe bet and Resident Evil 8 is also something I think is going to be at this event as well and that's pretty much because Capcom and Sony have a working relationship on Resident Evil titles Resident Evil 2 of course was unveiled during E3 2018 at Sony's press conference so they obviously have the marketing for this much like Microsoft has the marketing for cyberpunk so I definitely think Resident Evil 8 has a very very good chance of being at this event but really I'm just excited I'm excited to see what games are coming to the PlayStation 5 what the system is going to do as far as changing things up and maybe even getting a look at the actual system and finally are more systems coming to the nintendo switch online service maybe so on May 12th, 2020, Nintendo applied for some new trademarks that were actually published as of yesterday, June 8th. And some of these trademarks are making people think, well, there could be something to this. Because obviously, if you're trademarking something, you might be actually doing something with it. These trademarks are for the following. The Japanese title of Paper Mario the Origami King, and then Paper Mario the Origami King. Me, Excite Truck, Wave Bird, Wii U, and the most interesting one was Game Boy Advance. And that's got a lot of people speculating, well, 
maybe the Game Boy Advance is coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service. Now, obviously, some of this trademark stuff is just to protect their IP because, well, it's really a case of if you snooze, you lose, and if you let these patents and trademarks run out, then other companies can't swoop in and, of course, do something with it. But I do think the timing of this is rather interesting. Game Gear is, of course, getting a mini system this year, which, well, it just kind of sucks, but it's often been rumored that a Game Boy Classic could be a new system. So is a Game Boy Classic potentially in the works for Game Boy Advance? I think that would be kind of an interesting, you know, sort of retort to the Game Gear Mini, but I don't think that that's necessarily going to be the case. I think a more probable theory on the Game Boy Advance thing would be the Game Boy Advance on the Nintendo Switch Online service, because really the Game Boy kind of seems like the most logical system outside of the N64 to come to the service, which I feel like Nintendo is going to be a bit more hesitant putting the N64 on there. You got to remember, they do like re-releasing games, especially N64 games on their handheld systems, looking at games like Star Fox 64, the Ocarina of Time, and of course, Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64 got the Nintendo DS game, and of course, there is heavy rumors that are pretty much confirmed that there will be some sort of Super Mario 64 game coming to the Nintendo Switch this year or for the 35th anniversary of Mario. Now, will that be a full-on remake or will it just be an HD version of Super Mario 64? Nobody really knows, but I do think that there is a good chance for the Game Boy Advance to be coming to the Nintendo Switch as the next system in the Nintendo Switch Online library. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, what about Game Boy games? Wouldn't they do Game Boy games before they do Game Boy Advance games? And really, I'm not so sure about that because when you look at the Game Boy, you have, you know, that monochromatic screen with only two different colors. And yeah, you could have played those games and added in additional things like on the Super Game Boy, but really those games kind of stretched out onto a big screen aren't really the prettiest games and some of them haven't really held up all that well. Now there are amazing games on there like Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, which is one of my favorite games of all time. But really, I feel like Game Boy Advance games might make a little bit more sense to come to the Nintendo Switch online service and maybe they just completely skip the Game Boy. Now of course a lot of this is just based on speculation but people are expecting Nintendo to make some sort of announcements during June. Obviously, a lot of gaming companies are doing that. And while we might not be getting a traditional Nintendo Direct, this seems like a good little off-the-cuff surprise that could make a lot of people happy. So is the Game Boy Advance coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service? Maybe. Maybe. All right, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section down below. Like I said, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Tomorrow, we will be talking about the Arcade 1UP reveal. Hopefully, it's something really cool. Of course, on Thursday, we'll be talking about the PlayStation 5 reveal and then whatever else pops up in this week in the world of video games. And as always, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.